Hello YouTube! I recently finished a buddy read with Rachel who is wonderful and I will link her channel down below and we read Star Tide Rising by David Bren. This is the second book in the Uplift trilogy. I will be honest I could not get through the first one. The overarching concept of this series is that there is a patron race. That race then uplifts or genetically manipulates other races when they reach a certain point in evolution and this is a lot of uh, meddling on their parts. So this book had a lot of very interesting things for me and most of them have nothing to do with the story of this particular novel. I had wonderful wonderful chats with Rachel. It was really great to read this book with another person. I actually couldn't get over a couple of the physics parts of this. So the idea is that the fins, which is a dolphin race which has been uplifted and therefore genetically manipulated by humans, has been an, on an exploring mission and they're trying to decide if they are independent enough to do their own thing or not be dependent on humans. I'm not really sure exactly other than that what this was about but humans do not have patrons or so the story goes. So they have not been uplifted or manipulated and one of the key concepts within this book that I really enjoyed was the idea of knowledge that is acquired that you have to struggle to gain yourself through a series of trial and error. So you learn all the things that do not make a light bulb or all the things that do not work to solve that particular problem versus being given knowledge and following basically instructions. And that comes in the form of a millions of year old library, which was an amazing concept for me. If you didn't realize I like libraries. So the idea of a fountain of knowledge that you could peruse at any point, and there's multiple different versions depending on your race and species or species race or species race or species. I'm not sure how that's delineated, but anyway, so different archives or different sub libraries formed and you can look up basically anything you want and everything becomes sort of paint by numbers in that even spaceship designs are followed from this library system. So the idea that humans have not been influenced from the outside so we have been overlooked and do not have patrons means that we come up with unique and inventive ways to do things. And I think that's another point that I really enjoyed for this book. But there were a lot of negatives and this is going to get a lot of hate because I know this is a super popular book. And Rachel, I believe, already has released her review of this book and it was super fun, like I said, to read this with her. Um, one problem I had, dolphins in space. I mean, that sounds awesome and that is <laughs> awesome. But one of the problems that I had was they keep talking about the special water. They have a special water that allows the fins to survive on planets with gravitational fields. So they can't, in weightlessness, they talk about how they don't need it and they're fine weightlessness. Um, but when they became planet bound due to interesting uh, events within the novel, they had to swim in this special water. And the whole time I'm wondering why did they generate this water? Have they been carrying this water all the time? How are they carrying the water? I had major issues about propulsion and water that were a little hard to overlook at times. And then there's the contrast between the humans and the galactics. The galactics are the other species that are semi-featured in the book, but they're sort of half developed for me. Some of the plot lines I think were extraneous and not really needed to move the story along. And I am going to read the third novel in this series, which I think will tie up a lot of the questions that I had at the end of this one. Um, overall, I actually didn't rate this one very high. I don't remember exactly what the Goodreads rating I gave it was, but I'm thinking it was hovering around three stars. And that is because I, especially at the beginning of the novel, a lot of the voices felt half developed. I couldn't really tell very many of the dolphins apart. And the idea that they're swimming and they have, they call them the harness, so they have, they're wearing their harness. And that it has giant arms that come out, like this is, already, yeah, this is gonna be ridiculous on YouTube. But anyway, it has metal arms that just come out and now the dolphins have arms. But that doesn't really make sense from a, I don't know, that doesn't make sense from an aerodynamic perspective. And I get, a lot of the things that they talked about, the personality of the dolphins, and they talk about genetic manipulation and the ethics that are involved in fiddling with a species that could have developed differently on its own. 
And I think that was just kind of glossed over. It was talked a little bit about how the Finns thought that humans were unjust until they got access to the library and realized the horrors that other species did to others. So by comparison, it's like the lesser of two evils, which is fitting considering what's going on in the US right now. So on that note, this is my review of Star Tide Rising. Yes, it's spoiler free and yes, it's nice and short, but I know it's not going to be very popular. But on that note, I really enjoyed the buddy read. This was my very first ever buddy read, which was super exciting. And I plan to do more in the future. I've actually done another since then, which I'm going to talk about soon. I will see you soon. Bye.